my niece. Destroy the crystal. <laughs> we'll protect you, whatever happens. Put your faith in us. <laughs> I will. The air. <gasps> It's choked with evil! <laughs> Don't you recognize me? It's your old friend, Eric Boy. And after all the worlds we lived as one, all the battles we fought together. You see too much not to understand. The world is not a singular existence. An endless array of lights and darks exist at once. An infinite line of worlds in parallel. That's obvious enough by now. And in piercing the walls that divide them, I have gained power. Power beyond the reckoning of mortals. Enough to bring about a grand and final end. To trigger the catastrophe. I owe you a great deal, my friends. For my power alone could not have broken the world walls. Not without the aid of the crystals set to rampage. Then the great chasm. That's your doing! Please don't be modest. Or have you forgotten your contribution? The lot of you were eager to assist. We tore that void open together and siphoned through an army of monsters from the nether once more. I'm sure the locals were less than thrilled. <laughs> you lied to us! And you made it so easy. A fine pack of puppets you lied. Not a part of your own, so eager to obey. Because obeying is so easy, you're never responsible when you're only following orders. And who would doubt what seems so obvious? Who bears the courage to disobey? Precious few. Not one human in a thousand. Now, my man, to slaughter! What's this? Was this right? So much hurt. So much suffering in my wake. Death was too generous a way to the lonely worms meddling. How dare they! The search for a new Vestal and warriors will hold. I need to first find a crystalline core. To come this far and be denied for another five millennia? <sighs> Fortunately, the crystals that yet remain in this world range out of control. I shall bring the Dark Agora into being and find my time within the Great Chasm. A curse is... Well... Open your eyes. Arise. The time has come. So I wonder if we would have did that from the there beginning. There are those who yet fight the darkness and cling to hope. Those who have kept me safe, nurtured me. I now grant the power of their hopes and prayers unto you four. The power to sever the root of this darkness. Receive it now. Rise back to you. Arise! Huh? Am I... Onyes! Uh, uh, Idea! Ring a bell! Are you...
Are you all right? Wake up! Please answer me! <laughs> oh, thank goodness. What? What happened to us? I destroyed the crystal. Then Aerie turned into that... thing. Didn't we all fall in battle? How are we still... I feel as good as new. Did anyone else have a dream? I heard a voice. A gentle voice. Yes! I heard it too! Where did it come from? I believe it came from my pendant. From the crystalline core. I've never heard of a talking crystal before. Whose voice did we hear speaking? I remember it sounded like Anya's to me. Me? Or the one from the world I came from. No, first things first. Eri is still out there. We have to stop her. <sighs> I still cannot believe she's been deceiving us all this time. No, I wish not to believe. But we've seen her for what she is. The creature that I saw kill Adia bore that same hideous form. I'm sure of it now. The me from the previous world. If we fail to act, that fiend will find new pawns to use in awakening the crystals. This evil chain must be broken. And it's up... So this whole time I'm wondering if we if we would just destroy the crystal from the beginning. Would that have um would that have caused us to go into the final chapter early?
right. Oh, there it is. The dark aurora. Is there he inside? But how do we... Look, a magic circle on the cliff's edge. It may offer a way in. All right, if everyone's ready. So, you survived, obstinate insects. Still, your luck is my good fortune. You've left me to wait 5,000 years while the next crystal grows. At least I will have your shrinks of lamentation to pass the time.
I'm not doing as much damage as I once did. Show her no opening. She'll wield it against you. But, Harry, did you truly intend for this to happen all along? Tell me it's not so. Somebody needs to smack her. What of our fateful meeting, our travels together, do such things mean nothing to you? Somebody really needs to just smack her. Humans 
back when dumb, foolish creatures love the life forms incapable of learning. And a crystal vesta was the worst of the lot. How easy it was to deceive you in the form of a cute little fairy. <laughs> You repeat the same mistake world after world. Then, too, you trusted me to the very end, denying the truth before your eyes. <laughs> At least you're not squealing like stuck pigs this time. Though that's hardly progress. Airy! In countless worlds you've deceived us! Slain countless innocents! And it is true. I've been a fool the whole while. I still wish for us to be friends, somehow. Smack her. But I am done playing the fool. We will break this chain, this cycle of misery across the... We didn't talk too much.
Oh, I got a feeling like this ain't over. on that precipice, overlooking the great chasm. You had come forth from the chasm's depth, but you had only just slain us! Our blood had yet to dry! Indeed, you have served me well. Now, die a bitter death, knowing you serve your enemy. <laughs> Unacceptable! I ought have seen through you sooner. I knew of your evils. I ought have... You style yourself a hero, arrogant. You did nothing but stand in all my might. I... I... Quite tenacious, aren't we? But all of your efforts shall be in vain. My father and master Kami Izumi warned us of you. Now... Too late. I see the fool I've been. Those who act by emotion are the easiest to master. I pity your father to know him, only to be thwarted by his own daughter. I'll never forgive you for violating Agnes's trust! Always the same. Always about Agnes. I hate that about you most of all.
our journey to end like this I wonder if we succeeded in giving hope to anyone of that I am certain but it cost the lives of far more than we have heartened it is still hard to fathom that the right of awakening was an act of worldly destruction the crystals are still raging out of hand if we don't restore them to their natural state what now? It's going to collapse! That's our cue. Hurry, Ebs. Look! It's fading away! Rosso and the Sage? Here? Together? Uh, what's brought you here? Agnes, Tiz, Idea, ring a bell. You have done well. Eighteen hundred years have passed since the Angel's revelation. And now at last this evil has been severed at its roots. I marvel at the power of youth. I doubt yours is a feat we could have managed. Now, leave the rest to these two old men. Indeed, for you have obligations elsewhere. We do? The Great Chasm links all the worlds through which you have journeyed. Now that the Evil One is defeated, it will begin to close. You must each return to the worlds you wish, ere it shuts for good. The worlds? We wish? This world is a mirror of the one you were born in. But only that. A reflection. You are free to remain nonetheless. Or to return to the worlds whence you came. The choice is yours. But it would seem there's little time to deliberate. The chasm has begun to close sooner than I had anticipated. Now, quickly, children. If you would return, make haste. There's no time. You've saved this world and those beyond. Return home with your heads held high. Thank you for all you've done. Sage, is that not quite enough? Just a little longer. This is the last we'll meet. She may not welcome such affection. And Tiz is staring daggers at you. Ah, you people are no fun. Well, farewell to you, my angel. May we meet again, though it may be a different me that greets you. I will be forever grateful. Look, it stopped! They've secured us a road home. 
I sense the tremendous force of their magic at work. Well, ring a bell? Let's go. Dats, Zats, and the proprietress are waiting. All right, everyone. Hold on tight. 